Hello everyone, how are you going? And welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6, where I have two maps remaining, both of which are expert maps, and so Workshop it is. Oh, okay, so how is this going to be working? Because it looks as though it's just a straight run so far, but then we've had these little, I don't know what you'd call them besides branches, or little, almost like lobe looking things. How do they come into the entire situation? Oh, but it almost looks as though I might have a couple of packages that will be joining me, and so I don't know if they get in the way, or how that will work, and how these things work. Oh, activate track extension, $0. Ah, oh, this is going to be one of these ones. All right then, well, starting off, I think Sorter is just a very easy save bet. I also just want to push this top one and see how the entire thing works. Oh, a couple of balloons are going through. Okay then, but I just don't want it to be unlike the one down below and it just uses it straight off the bat and I, I don't know, maybe I'll never get it again. And so how do I want to be playing this? Obviously, we do have our new favorite friend and that is the Beast Handler, but uh, a boomerang or a cluster, ice tack, all the regulars are back in play. So far, everything is happening all right and I guess I should probably just wild this is actually zero dollars I should probably see what it does so that is round 10 activated or done but I will activate the track extensions and oh wow that made it way longer oh my goodness okay so it goes up and around and down and I, at least it didn't put a box in my way but that is definitely good to know so I have 20 seconds of it I don't even know how long that takes or what happens but look at that yeah I can see how powerful that would be or oh, also because you can put people that's not going to be the right tower but you can put people in the middle there oh, yeah, that is honestly just such a sweet sound every single time I get the druid I just love it and especially having the banana farms everyone is just able to cruise on up like it's nothing but look at this I can almost afford well I can afford a banana plantation let's just get that rolling it's already around 30 though so I do have to be a little bit careful that I don't get too ahead of myself but at least I even have Sorter's ability to just hold down the fort another banana plantation and let's just hopefully yeah we'll definitely be able to get three by the time it's round 33 round 34 and then that's still plenty of time to be able to save up before round 40. But look at that, three banana plantations before round 35. That is definitely going to help me long term. And I guess I should just now be thinking, how do I want to be spending my money? I will be taking it off auto start so I can just have that time to think about it. But whoa, they just blew through my mana shield, at least nothing too crazy. But finishing that round with $6,000, man, that just opens up quite a few opportunities and possibilities and options nonetheless. And so, oh man, there's no water on this map. So that's out of the question. Otherwise, a uh, wizard monkey is a solid the staple like I was saying tack and ice even just working my way all the way up to the t-rex wouldn't be the worst idea I mean I'm not too sure about the range of the t-rex if I was to oh, I mean I guess I can move them around can't I or if I was to put the beastmaster in there that doesn't really help me too much does it yeah it's not really worth it and so you know what I think I'm just going to work my way quickly up to a recursive cluster which will take a lot of money and then bigger bombs da, da, da. yes 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 glue gunner because you're free I might as well just put you down somewhere you can go um that table's on the way but you can just go back there and then who else I am almost just thinking of Beastmaster I'll put you a little bit back ah oh, that's why it has two circles I had, couldn't even realize it it has its main attacking circle and then its radius of beast circle so if I put you down there that'd be good and then I can afford it to get another one and I can put you uh, yeah, there, there. come on squeak in somewhere well I haven't seen that before and I mean I guess that makes sense but I find it interesting that they didn't just exit out going no you can't use this part they actually tell you at least why you cannot using it I mean at least it makes it easy in terms of the decisions I would just be going middle path and bottom path as far as the eye can see but my you need to be moving my friend you can go there and uh, another micro raptor yes Hang on a second, where, where, where are they all going? What? Why did all those boxes just leave me now at round 38? That's really weird. Um, uh, I have no idea. Do I need to press something to get them back? Villas, though, there are just so many little secrets with this entire map that I have no idea about. I mean, I haven't even pressed the top one. That almost looks like it could reverse the direction of the conveyor belt. And honestly, I'm not too sure if I'm into that because I've kind of set it up how I want. Oh, perhaps that's what's going on and that's why they feel so fast is because when they're on the middle conveyor belt, they're physically moving faster. All right, well, how do I possibly want to be spending my money? I mean, honestly, Heart of Thunder, I, I reckon that's going to be a pretty good shout. Otherwise, I'm thinking a bit of deep freeze and then a bit of uh, that is all I can do. But hold out. No, no, no. You're not going to be going down there. You go up there. That definitely makes a lot more sense. And yeah, I think let's just play it. Uh, play it slow give me all the banana and then also oh my goodness reverse murder you came from there that is just not what i expected oh my goodness what that is gonna kill me that's just unbelievable that is just not fair how is that even what how am i meant to do that um i mean i reversed the motor so i expected it to go the other way but my goodness that's just, there's no preparing for that if you put everything down there how are you possibly going to know that i mean i'll continue and just see if i can give it another go but it's just brutal. Oh, okay. I thought my clock was going to be counting down. Um, $3.7,000 though. I mean, I guess I've got Sorter's ability 
and that's about it i really i really that's just so rude i'm just trying to figure out what i could possibly be using just to make this happen and i think the only thing that is coming to mind is a wizard and i mean i think i'm also going to open it up which will make it hopefully so it just goes down and around and through and down and around but <sighs> I just don't know what I want to be putting where and so I, as long as I can just get ugh, that's what I was worried about just not being able to get dragon's breath and if I can get the banana farms or perhaps just sell something then that will be fine as well or I guess I also need to be buying track extensions hmm that definitely does change things but I guess if I just do this get all the banana and then slow people down track extensions and then dragon's breath it is that is literally all I can do and just hope hopefully come on track extensions use sword ability and there we go now that I actually know that it comes out there it's amazing I can plan for that but man there's just no way to possibly tell that I mean I guess maybe I should have guessed something by the fact that it's blue and the box has moved out of the way but it moved out of the way around 38 I think that's the weirdest part either way I'm certainly interested to give these guys a run for their money and just see how far I can truly get which pff, given the fact that this is just going to get very 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 expensive very quickly I'm not too sure how that's going to be going but either way at least that is just now there and that's the best I can do actually thinking about it now I guess I should move the T-Rex or I mean the soon to be T-Rex over to next to the shoot because well if every single other Moab and big balloons is going to be coming down there that is for one the most ridiculously short track in the world but for two I just need to be doing more damage to them oh, and I was just about to say maybe I can even just look at getting a starter monkey just to help store all the mobs that come down there but honestly looking at how much of the track this thing can truly really see or the kind of slivers that it can see I'm not too sure how worthwhile it would be I mean I guess it can see the entire central track which is going to be the main one so if I can just get the placement right it mightn't be the worst thing maybe especially just to help cover off this um if I just go yeah and just sneak it in sneak it in sneak it in somewhere down here yeah we're right about there why not oh let's just see this oh yes as soon as he was able to see it they actually did stop it so that does make a big big difference at least having the t-rex or whatever you want to be calling it there i mean i guess that is the velociraptor but man still balloons are able to get through because it just has to be the shortest track in the world i don't understand how you can have every single bad balloon everything else is coming down there i mean it just gives you zero time and you have to just be using the track extensions every single time it doesn't make any sense to me how is that even fair i mean i know it's an expert but come on either way at least just now having that t-rex as well should definitely help me in the big balloon department because i know that it's stomp ability coupled with let's say the sniper monkey it should just be able to make things never move oh my goodness oh my goodness it's just brutal how am I possibly going to be doing this? It's like, I took out one, and I took out the second one, but then a couple of balloons sneak through, and that is it. I used Sorta's ability, and I guess I also did have the T-Rex's ability, but I can't be using it every single time a big balloon comes out, because how are you possibly going to manage that? As well as track extensions, when you're in the higher rounds, well, you have to be using it constantly to even have the time to take things out. Man... That is absolutely unreal, and I guess I do want to just continue, but I guess there's only 300 bucks and I do have the money. I just want to see how can you possibly just make this more versatile or more user-friendly. I mean, even the fact that the tables are in the way, that is just adding salt to the wound and the, the cut in half. You've been cut in half, and then they just put salt in the wound. And so even though I guess I can come down here and just go Moab Assassin and then bigger bombs, da -da -da, all the way to strong, Moab Assassin, oh, can't get it, but that is fine, just all the way back onto strong. But man, I just do not understand how you can possibly be looking at taking these guys out in that amount of time like i said the bad how do you do that much damage with that little room oh man that t-rex did some dirty work right there let me just take you out before you get too far and just see even the cluster bomb just is able to come on board as well and that will definitely help me I almost feel as though i want to be putting you to uh no first because then it will shoot down there first that is definitely going to make more sense the sniper monkey can see a decent way who else can I be putting? Honestly, I think maybe even just attack and an ice combo at the end here just to try and save me. And then you know what? I haven't broken this guy out in a very, very long time, but it spike factory. I think will definitely help me. And so I guess I first of all will just be buying no, not activate reverse motor, Moab Assassin, just so I've got that on lock. And then bit of you, bit of you, bit of you, bit of you, because all these guys are so damn cheap. How can I just incorporate the most people? Ooh, the fact that even the T-Rex, just be able to incorporate him would be nice. I guess the ice and the sniper can already see it and sorta. So maybe would bigger radius just be better there and I don't even know if the Beastmaster can see it does that mean the T-Rex can see it or not that is also another question that I guess I can't have answered right this second either way you go 
probably down here is going to make more sense, but just as high as humanly possible. I guess if I place you down there, it's a thousand dollars, so I don't want to be missing it, but uh, yeah, bigger radius. Are you in? Uh, I just don't know. Grow blocker. Uh, I just can't afford everything I want, but ooh, uh, uh, I guess at least the cluster bomb is in. The druid and the tax certainly would have been nice, but I guess it is what it is, and at least this guy will also just be in it as well once he's all up and running. Oh, around. Oh, okay, I guess I paused it, and that is fine. I just was a little bit caught off guard, and I was just trying to exit out of whatever I was just in, but I guess I think I should be okay as long as I use yes the mob assassins can definitely help me here so if I use them early just to break it down so I'll break you down and then use everyone's abilities yes that was fine but man is it scary I guess I should also just look at how much four hundred dollars and eight hundred dollars so I feel as though one is increasing very fast compared to the other one but that is fine I can deal with that I just have to remember to use them but even in the moment how are you gonna go oh yes that is about to go past let me just come up here do this and then activate that in the time that you have but no way you'd have to be playing on half speed not even and just normal speed. Actually, you know what I've only just now seen is the fact that I have all of this track where it goes a little bit lighter. For some reason, I think it's just because of where the sniper monkey was seeing. I was just thinking that I could only put and see basically where the T-Rex's head is, but no, I have so much more time than I would have thought. I mean, not mounts, but more than I would have thought. And so, okay, in that case, um, I think maybe another ice and tack up here just to lay into them early because I know how much damage they can do. Well, I must admit, all of a sudden I am feeling a lot more confident with what I can possibly set up here and just even having that bit of extra track made such a such a difference I mean I don't know why I just assumed that it didn't because of the sniper monkey but that is what it is either way how do I want to be spending my money I've got the alchemist down I've got the ice tax down I've got everything like that maybe just more 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 mauler's I think Ooh, round 80, here we go. He's going to obviously be coming down this big slippery dip, and I guess I should just start sending people up that can actually see it. Sorter's ability, can she? No, she can not go up there, so that is completely fine, but just continue to just shred him down. I guess as soon as he just gets broken down, it will be fine, because I can use the abilities just like this. Overall, it wasn't too bad, but really, I'm still just baffled as to how you possibly take out the bad. Oh, yes, look at that. I just went ahead and got the tax zone because I thought it might be a decent upgrade, and so far, so good. That pop count is absolutely racing up. I mean, it was well behind the other ice tower, but now it's just well in front. Well, I've made it past round 89, and it is now just time to face the DDTs, the fastest of all the balloons that were just go cruising through this map. And so honestly, I think as soon as the track starts, or probably not as soon as the track starts, but I definitely want to just be extending the course a little bit. So activate track extensions will be 900. And then I also do want to try and see where activate reverse motor because it just didn't seem to do anything when I had it last, but I guess I can just see what that is as well because I have $22,000 and nothing that I'm really just saving up for in particular. I mean, I guess I could get some of you guys. You know what? I'm actually thinking that I might just put a sniper monkey down here just so that obviously they can see the camera, but he can stall them straight out of the gate. So I'll go deadly precision, may mob, yes, 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 all the good ones. Yes, used and then strong. Aha! And now that I've got that, that should definitely change how quickly everyone can come out of there. Track extensions, as soon as I see someone come out, don't take too long. There we go, just do that so it doesn't go too crazy and I can actually collect my bananas. But wow, they didn't even get that far. That is, I mean, nice to know and nice to experiment with and also nice to know that I can take out DDTs and everyone kind of turned around somehow. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Come on, get in range, get in range. Just take everyone out and then use the stomp ability. Oh, yes, that was perfectly timed and also gives me a good idea about how powerful that truly can be and I guess he's not even at max beast power but I'm liking the T-Rex. Only a couple of thousand dollars and honestly I can almost fight so there we go super little it is that should just absolutely eat through everything that comes out there now especially just having the tax zone. Let me just check its pop count 42,000 the tax set up to 160,000 but I reckon that ice monkey can catch up pretty quickly because I know how powerful it can be and I just had a brainwave that occurred to me halfway through that sentence why do I not have an alchemist just down here but an alchemist bottom path because oh balloon master alchemist is just unmatched and as for something like this it will be perfect. I just cannot afford to be playing it on fast anymore because there are too many things that can just too quickly and too easily just slip through me, especially if I'm just not using my abilities at the perfect time. I mean, I'm just waiting on the T-Rex's stomp, but then by the time I can actually press it and it activates and that entire neural network happens, they will already be passed. Well, Bloom Master Alchemist is 34,000 and I currently have 12 and a half. So I just have to save up an easy $22,000 and then I will just be set for 
I don't know, by that time, probably two rounds or something. Oh no, but I've just seen that that was round 97. And so there is no way that I can possibly be looking at saving up, what is it, like $20,000 in two rounds before round 100? I mean, I think that is going to be it for me, but let's just see how far and how close I can go because that will be interesting. It'll be the, the true test of the Lizard King, so to say. And if you don't know, the Lizard King is a name for the T-Rex, but hole. Oh. Okay then, well, I guess I won't have to worry about round 100 because that will be it for me. My goodness, there is no way that I have to continue that again because if I can't get right past that round, I certainly don't have very high hopes for round 100, but my goodness, even the fact that the tack shooter was the monkey star, fair play. I mean, I guess that was a decent upgrade of mine, but geez, I just can't get over the fact that that is an allowed map. I mean, I know there's a map that has a tiny little thing up the top left, and it's certainly not for me. I'm never going to be playing that one. It, it seems impossible. But even the fact that you can have balloons just straight down the chute here, I don't know what they were thinking because you just start placing everything at the front, and then you just have to completely switch it up. And that is what this game is good at, just switching it up on you at the last second, around 38 out of round 40. Oh, man, it definitely just keeps you on your toes.